Okay, everybody bring it in. You know what, we've worked hard for this. New jerseys mean something. Right. The McGovern logo means something. Sportsmanship is for soccer and volleyball. We are gonna go out there, we're gonna mess these guys up. All right, the McGoverns lose to nobody. Yeah. All right, so when they're down, you hit them in the face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Break away, you chop them in the knee. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there is no way that anybody takes our day away. No, let's get out there and fuck them up. Let's go. Goes on three. One, two, three. We go. Let's go. We're playing games to five. The team who scores gets the puck back. Main thing is nobody gets hurt because there's gonna be a lot of drinking afterwards. Yeah. All right, we don't wanna miss the Labatt's Blue in the locker room and the Stanley Club where we really start Christmas, all right? So make sure everybody to shake hands, make sure we all know each other. Unless we're dropping the puck at 10.35. 10.35, the puck drop, all right? Let's go. play with him, and then me, you, and this guy will play. Okay. I'm sorry, is it, it's not Nick, it's Ty. No, what, is, what is it? Gio. Gio, that's her name? Yeah. All right. You want to take left? You want to take center? You want to play center? Yeah. All right, you got it. All right, here we go. Ah! That's not the way we're going to start it. Stay in the middle, Tom. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. That a boy. It's good. Go, 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 Joe.
Come on, boys. Shot there. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Tommy. Was that good? Was that good? Irish rolls, you make it, you take it. Yeah. Yeah, we're shot with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. One of the two of us. Yeah, you guys just blame it on me. I didn't even know you were there. I was inside. Oh, I was. Oh, okay. Tamar! Yeah. Woo! All right. There you go, Tam, way to drive. Nice shot. Nice rip. Did you leave that on purpose? Did you leave that on purpose? Let's go, next one's big, next one's big! Oh. Team's showing a lot of grit, they're showing a lot of grit, coming down, coming out after a bad ship. Down two to nothing, 40 seconds into the game. One goal away from winning game one. A lot of love on this team. A lot of love, big commitment. Big commitment to the game.
Let's gotta get out, Claffy. Come man. on. That's your My goal, man. Joe. That's gotta get out, oh, Claffy. Come on. That's your My goal, man. Joe. Let's go. That's the one goal for the game. Let's go. Oh, coach. Oh, let's go. That's the one goal for the game. Let's go. That's all. That's all right. Let's go, boys. Hey, nice play down there, Bri. Nice work. Nice work down there, Tom. Sorry about that. I got in your way on the boards there. Let's try, I got to, I'm trying to get as skinny as possible. About time, Flo. Shoot. Oh. It's another minus, Claffies. It's another minus. I'm moving the puck. Let's shoot. It's another minus, Claffies. It's another minus. I'm moving the puck. Man. Go, no, go. Good hustle, Cap. Hey, 
Can I go in? Yeah. Should have skated it. My bad. Three, two. We're down. Can I go in? Should have skated it. My bad. Get the line, Tommy. Get the line. There you go. We need a goal. Let's get a good goal, huh? Tommy, make that pass. Freaking in the slot, wide open. You're trying to force it from the net, went right through. When you curled it around, you passed it from the net. He was covered. I was right on your three o'clock. Yelling. It's putting up fucking smoke signals. Make a pass. Yep. Woo! Nice job, Dan. Yep. Nice shot. Come on. Bishop. Huh? It's a bishop. Yes, he looks like He looks exactly like a guy. Yeah. Like a guy. Take it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice dive, kid. It's fine. a lot of courage, especially at the end in a 4-4 game. You could have mailed it in. You know what? But you guys were governed up. It was just like the old days when we came over on the ship and it sank and we swam the last 700 miles to New York. It's all about Irish, Irish pride. Merry Christmas! Yeah. Woo! So you're the young kid of the bunch. What yeah. do you need to do next year to improve? Yeah, you know, uh, I kind of came out uh, unprepared this year. I haven't exactly played since... Uh, 
the last McGovern skate last year, so I'm going to get some dry land workouts in, get my conditioning up, uh, just work on my stick handling uh, in the driveway with Jay Claps. Definitely going to cut my hair. Uh, going to miss it, but uh, the flow will not be here next year. Um, well, we all know who's the best looking sibling, but uh, he's definitely got, he's got the edge on me on the ice. Um, he's taught me everything I know, and he's just an older brother to look up to and a great hockey player. Today, I gotta say, uh, we looked a little cold to start out. You know, it's been a long off season. You know, we were hitting the weights, you know, uh, messing around all off season. But um, we had a few of our guys. We haven't been playing together. We didn't have that chemistry all year. But you know, we were playing ourselves. Uh, we've been out on our own playing some hockey. But uh, you know, we weren't playing together. We didn't have that chemistry to start out. We came down 2-0, and uh, you know, we just brought it to them. We played blue line to blue line, some strong hockey, uh, made some good passes, and uh, you know, we were just. Put all, we just spilled all of our McGovern guts out there, you know? Tell us about this organization. Organization. Uh, you know, we could definitely use a practice or two, uh, especially with Nunkovich yelling out there the entire time, bitching at everyone. You know, it's definitely good for all of us to be on the same page and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, no, we, we're definitely led by a good captain, uh, Joe Claffey. You know, we got a great team in front of us, and, you know, things are looking good for the McGovern family team. So I'm looking forward to next year. Number 26, what a great game. We have to thank uh, the people that passed before us, and that would be all of our uncles. We're thinking about them, too. Today, when we were down by three, we just sat back and said, let's think of uh, how this family got started and what we're made of. So we all went hard to the net, passed the puck, got everybody involved, and thank God for the, the guys on the team. Brian, you're one of the older statesmen of this club. Are you proud of these guys? Oh, extremely proud, extremely proud. Looking at, looking at the ice. Kevin was a, an excellent skater. John was deking everybody inside, outside. Um, the new guys, his fraternity brothers, thank God that they came along. My hallergies, killing me. <laughs> Good game, everybody. Way to go, eh? You had some uh, great saves in the net. Fast glove hand. Yeah. Canadian fast glove yeah. hand. So what did you do to prepare? Uh, drank a lot last night <laughs> and drank a little bit before. But great game. Can't thank everybody enough. Glad to be a part of the McGovern family here and there, and uh, looking forward to next year. Uh, you know, just uh, getting the call up, you know, pretty nervous at first, but uh, the older veterans on this team kind of let me ease into it, and, um, you know, it was, it was good to get a couple goals in there, kind of get, get me in the flow of things. Um, but, you know, it was a great games. Came back uh, uh, from 2-0 deficit, and uh, felt really good to get the wins out there. You provided a much-needed spark and a lifeless offense. Uh, you know, just uh, growing up, playing hockey, kind of idolizing the game. And, uh, you know, again, there's uh, older guys here kind of taking me under their wing, bringing me up from the minors into the pros over here in the McGovern team. Uh, you know, it's a really fun experience, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Tell us about that goal and that pass from now. Well, you know, Chris is a great player. Uh, he fed me like a newborn baby, as like I like to say it. So, uh, you know, uh, he just fed up there. I dived. You know, it's, it's an honor to be a part of the McGovern family, uh, you know, at least for a few hours. Uh, you know, I started out in the McGovern Classic, and, you know, now I'm here, uh, and it's a great feeling. So, uh, being a part of the team, tell us about the heart of You know, I think it uh, goes a lot to show, you know, uh, Joe, Joe, uh, Mr. Claffey, you know, uh, great leader, you know. Uh, we got our sniper out there, uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny uh, Claffy Taze, is like we like to call him. And you know, I'm just happy. You know, they switched me off D parents with you know Robbie Coons. He's sort of a Fenwick Ferry. So you know, once they started getting me with uh, once they started getting me with uh, you know Bry out there, you know, a true you know um, uh, Irish guy. Uh, I think we started to click more as a unit. And I think you know Robbie also got to you know get some uh, good uh, chemistry with the other guys. So all in all, great uh, great team win. And I'm happy to be a part of the McGovern family today. Michael Tam. Yes, sir. Uh, some people in the locker room call you the heart and soul of this team. What do you, what do you say about that? <laughs> I'd say it's a mischaracterization. It's very flattering, but uh, we've got many hearts on this team. Uh, tell us about today, uh, overall experience. Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I'm very, very happy that we met for breakfast. That was very, that was really special to have the ladies there, my grandfather, a couple of my cousins, Caitlin. And Swain Kunzi, it was awesome. It was great. And then the, the game was competitive, probably the most competitive game we've had in the history of this. And um, I feel like some of the folks on the McGovern side that are newer to the game are getting better every year, which is exciting to see. And it was just a lot of fun. We had a great crowd. It's good energy.
I expect more of the same. I think uh, Kevin's going to get better. John's going to get better. I expect to continue improving. Tom McGovern gets better every single time I skate with him. Hopefully we get a couple more people out from the family. I'm looking to maybe get my brothers involved, get them out on the ice. So hopefully it just keeps growing. And we, our squad keeps getting better and better every year. All those kids out there, keep at it. Get as much ice time as you can. We'd love to get you out on the team. It's a great sport and it's a lot of fun skating with the family. Uh, you know, I thought uh, I thought overall we did great. I mean, it's an honor to be out here on the ice with these guys. Uh, known them all my life. This was probably the biggest game of my career, my young career of six years. Um, and it was it was a pleasure. I think we played real well. Uh, you know, uh, I started out on D. Uh, the pace was, you know, pretty pretty fast. Um, I held my own for a little bit there. Moved up top. Did some nice things, trying to help the team, trying to get the puck deep, putting pressure on the other team. Uh, but really, uh, I think we got to owe it uh, a lot to uh, Nunks. Uh, he did a great job out there leading the team, very vocal, teaching. Same thing with uh, Cousin Brian here. Uh, always teaching, always teaching. Tell us about the heart of this organization. Um, well, I think it's rooted in Uncle Ed, and he was there uh, today with, uh, for breakfast. He really pumped us up, so hats off to Uncle Ed. And uh, it's been great. Thanks for, thanks for doing this for us, Spike. You're, you're a real pro. You're the alternate of this team. So I just want to say a few things. Um, a couple of guys have some mouths on this team, and uh, we'll get that fixed in the locker room. But as far as our game is considered, uh, got to get it up to Trunks and uh, Garcia standing tall in the net, uh, being there when we weren't. Um, a lot of these guys realize that there's only a half the sheet of ice and they're only skating on one side of the blue line. Uh, but we'll fix that in practice. Nothing we can't fix. I'm a firm believer in uh, Coach Claffey. We'll get them going again. And uh, I want to thank again to the organization, and it's about the name on the front, not the name on the back. And uh, a lot of these young guys don't realize it yet, but they're buying dinner tonight at Sizzler. But I want to say thank you tonight for uh, coming out, Mike, and doing everything you did. I'll make it some, probably some roster changes. Uh, we'll see some probably changing in the guard. Uh, some of the elder statesmen will probably move up to the front office where they belong. Um, some of these younger kids will go back to uh, selling insurance in their dad's office, flipping burgers. Um, or maybe back down to Rockford for a while. So, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. That's something that the front office needs to take care of. And um, we'll do what we can on the ice. And that's just, you know, train hard and be ready to come back when they call our number again. Well, it's really hard to describe. I mean, I've never seen a team come back two goals down. We are down two goals in the first 40 seconds of the game. I mean, the guys just had to dig deep. They had to dig deep. And I want to thank our call-ups. Our call-ups played a major role. The non McGovern's played a major role in uh, bringing us back. Five unanswered goals. You just don't see that from a hockey team these days. You just don't see that. It takes a lot of guts, a lot of guts. We sucked it up, and I just want those guys who came up from Rockford to join us today to know their spot is not guaranteed for next year. And, uh, you know, keep playing hard like that, and we'll have a spot for you on the second line. What happened in game two? Game two, you know what? They brought it to us. They huddled up after the game. You know, they, they had a good team meeting between periods. They came after us. Uh, that game could have gone either way. A bounce or two either way. Rodriguez made a couple great saves. So did Martinez. So did Martinez. Martinez and Rodriguez both made great saves for us, and... You know, I can't say enough about the goaltending at the end. Joe, tell us what's going to be expected next year. Next year, I can tell you, if, uh, if we don't commit to dry land training, I'm coming out here with three lines. That's all i got to say. Whoa. Whoa.